so today is my piercings video. I'm so excited to tell you guys what piercings I have, what piercings I plan on getting, and my experience with my conch piercing, which I recently just got pierced. So I hope you're all having a great day, and I really hope you enjoy this video. I got my conch pierced. Very, very exciting. It is my seventh piercing and I got it done around like four or five today so it's been probably like seven eight hours since I got it um getting it the there are two people who work at the shop they're both really nice there's Bradley and Andrea Andrea I never really caught her name so I don't know how it's pronounced but they're very sweet they totally talked to me through everything so had me take deep breaths in and out which allowed me to focus more on my breathing rather than the actual pain, which is really cool. I got it with a hoop, which I know that there's controversy, like saying that uh, a, a stud or a barbell, um, it allows it to heal quicker. But I was talking with them and they said, well, in our opinion, it actually is the same amount of time. That was, I felt like that was a better choice for me. Also, I kind of just want like the hoop. I love that look. And I didn't get it completely fitted because I just wasn't able to for the healing process, but I know I'm going to eventually get a seam ring because currently I just have a, uh, I think it's a CPR, I forget what it stands for, but it's the one with a little ball in the center. And I will show you, it's on my right ear. Right here. So I've already put some sea salt on it because they gave me a solution that's very, or very similar to H2 Ocean and it's just a different brand which that's whatever but for an update at this point in time I mean it doesn't really hurt like if I bump into something it will hurt but currently just like having it stand alone it's cool I'm about to go to bed so I'm really scared about how it's gonna feel I mean obviously I'm about to go to bed but um, hopefully I'm able to sleep I have to get up early tomorrow morning for my internship so fingers crossed and I hope you all have a good night Hi, so I'm about to go into work, and I thought I'd give a really quick update on my conch piercing. Um, it's been two days that I had it, that I've had it. It is Friday, and I got it Wednesday, yeah. So two days, and I have slept with it twice. The first night, I really didn't sleep very much. Um, last night, I did end up sleeping very well, because the first night, you know, I just kept wanting to roll over on the side. But last night, I was pretty good about it, and I don't think my body really wanted me to. It kind of got the message. I feel like it's been healing really well for the past two days, and I'm just really glad that it's working out really well for me. I'm going to put in how I clean my conch piercing. Here it is. So, what I do is I got this from my piercer, Wound Wash. It was $10, or it was a little less than that. So, I use this, and... I'm just going to show you what I do. So basically I take the top off and this is a perfect top to put some sterile q-tips in. So I just put it in here and on this guy I spray onto a sterile q-tip. You can see it's completely soaked. And basically I just go and put it around this guy in. It's a little sore when I touch it with this guy, but only a little bit. Um, I just try and get all around it. Um, so far, I don't see any crusties, but I use this guy and my hand touch the side, so I'm going to throw this away. And I'm going to use another Q-tip for the other side of my ear. So here's another one. And now I'm going to get the back side of my ear. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, and so, I mean, there's not really too many crusties now because it's Sunday and I got this done Wednesday. It's been, what, like four days? So, I mean, it's a little sore doing that, but otherwise, it's only when I accidentally touch it or accidentally hit it that it hurts otherwise i've been having a really great first week because i've heard people say that they've had terrible experiences with the first one or two weeks with their conch saying that it's been absolutely miserable but i am so happy and i feel really blessed to be able to say that 
this experience is going really well and it really doesn't hurt very much at all right now. So I have a total of seven piercings. My first piercings I got when I was about six years old. Um, my mother took me to a mall in Las Vegas and just went to Claire's and got them pierced. Um, it's just these guys right here. Um, and I was so excited and I was like, oh my gosh, it hurt. You know, little girl crying. And then a few years later, I took them out and I was like, oh, I don't want pier earrings, piercings, whatever. And when I was like nine, my Nana, she got super mad at me. She realized they took them out and they had closed up and she could still see where the piercings were. And she just took an earring and pushed it through, you know, they bled. But I mean, now I have them and I've taken them out some periods of time. And I mean, they're still here. And then my second piercings these guys right here I got when I was 13 it was for my 13th birthday it was kind of spur of the moment and I got them at Claire's and I'm not very confident about them because I don't feel like they're completely center like um, on the same spot on each side and then my top guys um, let's look right here that guy and that guy I got when I was 18 at this place next to my school and they pierced it with a needle. That was my first time getting a needle um, or getting needle piercings. And I feel like that is completely superior. I am 100% pro uh, needle piercing, not gun piercing. And so those are all the piercings that I have had for a while. And then this guy I just got um, four days ago now from 101 Piercing on the 101 in Encinitas and I absolutely love it. It is probably my favorite piercing to date, although most people will say their favorite piercing is the one they last got unless they the person completely butchered it, which I really hope that doesn't happen to anybody, but I know it does. And so yeah, that's kind of my piercing history. Do I regret any of my piercings? Absolutely not. Uh, I love all of the piercings that I have. There is a slight regret though, not exactly like that I wish I didn't have any of them. I just wish I had got my second piercings done with a needle and not a gun. Which piercing hurt the most was definitely my, my conch because that's the only cartilage piercing I have so far. And do I want any more piercings? Heck yes I do. I want so many piercings. It's kind of terrible. I have a list on my phone. So for my left ear, this guy right here. You know, I've just got the basic three, and I'm look I'm pulling it off my phone, my left ear. I hope to get a double mid helix, so kind of like right here ish, and then my tragus right here, and maybe my flat like right here, and then my right ear. I hope to, in addition to the conch and the three guys over here, I hope to get a double forward helix. Sorry, I've got wispies right here, and just a double helix kind of up here. So that's my whole thing. I just really love piercings. I love getting them. And then in terms of future piercings, like on my face, I don't believe I would ever get a nose piercing because if you know me, you know I sneeze a lot. I have terrible allergies and I also have a eustachian tube that is plugged, which causes me to sneeze so much every morning I wake up and I would be so scared that it would like rip out of my nose and then I don't think I would ever get a money hey you guys sorry for the change of scenery I was so unprepared and I totally forgot to charge my computer before I went outside so change of scenery but anyways I don't think I would ever get like a Monroe piercing because I have more right here and I feel like that kind of already compensates for something like that um, or any lip thing because I don't really think I just have, I don't think I have that look. I'm like too nice or whatever. Like not exactly that you don't have to be nice to get one. I just, I think that I don't give off that vibe kind of. And that kind of goes on why I would never get uh, an eyebrow piercing. I just in the same position, I don't feel like I have that vibe. And I believe that you kind of have to have like a look and I don't fit that stereotype. Which, not exactly that you need a 
shape yourself to stereotypes or whatever but I just I don't I don't see myself having those things but I believe that there are so many people who look so good with them and I wish that I had that look and like I wish I could just have like sleeves of tattoos or whatever but I don't have that look unfortunately which I mean it's cool what I have is a different look everybody has their own look so yeah I'm really sorry I wasn't able to get myself with my conch pierced I honestly just totally forgot it was kind of spur of the moment and I just honestly didn't think about it it didn't even cross my mind which I know is stupid and I know that I said that I might post a video about me going to the Dharma races and I clearly didn't but I did post some things on my Instagram which I will put right here and I will also put it down below so you guys can follow me if you want. Just go look at the photos, whatever. I really got dolled up. And um, I'm definitely going to be making some more videos soon. Sorry, this one. This one's kind of like far away. Or like it took quite a while for me to get this one out. I just wanted to have a lot of material to show you guys about my conch piercing. As well, I do plan on doing a get ready with me video, but I want to wait till I move into my apartment because my room is honestly a mess. And the reason for that is because I like I don't plan on living here. I don't have any organizers here. Like I don't have anything anywhere to really put my stuff. So it's all just like here. And so in my apartment, it's definitely going to be much more organized. So it'll just be a much better platform to show you guys, you know, everything me getting ready so i really hope you all have a great day happy national ice cream day i know i'm gonna be getting some and i'll post it to my instagram so again if you end up following me or wanting to go look you can see all the ice cream that i eat today and i really appreciate you guys watching my videos i really hope that this helped you in some way or that you got some enjoyment out of this video and i hope that you had a great week and you have a great week looking at you bye guys Mwah.